you know what? I'm gonna get somebody else to do it because I don't want to mess with it now that I see how it's done. And see, he's hitting on the carpet. He's got to be. He's got to be careful of the base. You don't want to scratch up your base any more than you have to. Well, so he's, I guess he's decided he doesn't have to cut the carpet right there. Or we'll see, maybe he is going to cut it still. We'll see. Too thin to have to try to cut. Oh, okay. I'll cut my finger off probably. <laughs> And there's the room under the base yeah. for that amount. See, he really didn't have to cut much carpet there because where it was puckering was in the front here, not necessarily over there. He's basically reattaching what was already there. You saw he only had to cut a little bit around the door jam. So now he's working on just, just reattaching this and making sure it's it still has its stretch to it, tightness. The whole goal is to make it look like nobody was ever here to begin with. I like that tool of yours. Which one? This that one, yeah. yeah. It's a real heavy tool too. There's a lot of weight in that handle. I've got three different kinds. Ah. That's a sharp corner, round corner, and one with both. little tool there with the hook and that hook you know it's got a point to it goes into the carpet but you can you can kind of clean that back up see it just kind of goes away just like that very nice oh here's one here too let's see Priceless oh, I know. I've got a pair of those and I use them for just little things on if I see anything on existing carpet or carpet strands, carpet burrs. That is the tool right here, baby. See that? Uh, angles. Nice sharp tip on it. Kick me that. Oh, yeah. See right in there, he's he's got to he's got to cut it because that's part of the pucker, kind of went over that direction. Oh, he's cutting through the face, so you can cut through the face of the carpet too with that knife. Cuts that back side, looks like, if you can reach it. See how close he's getting to his fingers? Just be careful with that. What'd you call that knife? A bloody... <laughs> bloody Mary! A Bloody Mary knife. Yes. It's got quite the reputation. You, you, you've got to be really careful with that blade. 
And it doesn't retract either, does it? It just sticks out. So you yeah. gotta be careful as you grab it when you oh, put it yeah. away. Better make sure it's in your pocket right now. Yes. and see if he has to take this carpet out to the corner or if he's just going to... Now see, if you, didn't have, if you didn't have one of these power stretchers, I call that a power stretcher, a mini power stretcher, I guess. If you didn't have that, you'd, you'd have to do this with a knee kicker. It's wouldn't cold. you? That's interesting you said that, Joe. Really? <clears throat> What'd you say, a mini? A mini power stretcher. Why'd you call it a mini? Well, because I've only seen a power stretcher with the with the uh, extension that goes all the way to the to the back side of the wall, and then you have to put okay dividers, you know. And, no. and I think you got one, but I, that's that's what this is. I yeah. have the poles out here. We might okay, need and you hook the poles yeah. to this. Yeah, we might need them downstairs. Yeah, yeah. But it's interesting. I don't know if you've ever seen it. A senior. This is called a junior. Uh huh. A senior's got poles. Yes. Like this. But I've, like, I've seen that. And you. I've never seen one of these. Juniors. I've only seen a couple of them in my whole time. The senior. Oh, okay. But man, we used to use them in the casino before we glued the carpet down. Uh huh. And that thing was a, a beast. And if you. So for the house, we use a junior. Yeah. Now, I don't know. You're just going to have to go to a rental yard and ask them if they have one of those contraptions. And if they don't, then you may have to decide just to use their kicker. And we keep talking about a kicker. We haven't seen that yet. You'll just have to watch the next video after this when he fixes the stairs for the kicker on whether or not you decide you want to do something like this. Because with the kicker, you kick it with your knee. It's got a big pad. It kind of, it kind of looks something like this, except the. the, front, the <laughs> and here again, it can pad. send you to the doctor. Yeah. I had a friend. What for? For your knee, you could put your knee out, huh? If you hit it wrong. I I was in a in a, a complex. My friend managed the complex maintenance manager. He came over and watched me kick in the room, small room, bedroom. Uh huh. Watch me kick it in. He goes, oh man, Dan. He goes, that looks pretty easy. Let me try that. <laughs> I said, just make sure you kick that pad. So he booted a couple of Oh them, no, he you missed. Know. He hit it okay. And uh, then he hit it on the ground. Hit his knee on the ground instead of the pad. And he was like, ah. Oh. Then he kicked it again a couple times right on real good. Mm -hmm. If you kick it right on, it's no problem. Yeah. Couple of good ones, and then the third kick, bam! Right into the corner of the key, of the pad. Oh! And he says, oh, oh! Boom, boom! Couple more kicks, kick the corner again. He, man, I'm done with this. And he went down ten feet wall. He said, I'm done with this, man. You make it look easy. Yeah, yeah. And he shook it off, you know. It's it's I uh. I never thought about it, but uh. I came in the next day and everybody came up to the room I was on and they said, hey, you see Mark? I had a feeling as soon as they asked, man, what the problem was. <laughs> they said, you got to go look at him. He's up there at the office today. He won't be going anywhere. He's got a big bag of ice on his knee. <laughs> 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 I wish I had a picture of that now. You know, it's it's a real art when you Ten, watch. One wall. I Ten know. Feet, put him in a. Down for the day. I haven't seen Dan use his, his knee kicker, but I've seen other carpet guys use it before, and they, some of them just wail on it. And I'm like, how long could somebody actually do that? How many years could somebody do that before it really jacks your knee up? But using this junior power, power stretcher, man, that's the ticket right that's there. That's the ticket, man. That is the ticket. I rent mine now, Joe I like that. Reno on Craigslist. You, you did I, what? I was renting it out. Oh, you're kidding. I got my tools for rent. Oh, and nice. You can rent my tools, man. I'll give you a whole carpet install package for $150. Wow, cool. Then you can watch my videos and learn how to install or watch Joe's videos <laughs> and learn how to install. Hey, good idea. That There's a tip for you. Look, look at 
I got Craigslist. two, three of everything. Uh huh. I'm like, I'm gonna, but you know, I haven't got one guy to rent them, Joe. Not well, once. Wow. <laughs> well, maybe most people don't realize that they could try to go to uh, Craigslist. I should put them on but, there for free, free rental. Let the guys get in there, and get started, and they'll be calling. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.